Welcome to Let's Draw Gods. You know, I had so much fun drawing Elizabeth Hurley as a goth. I thought, who else has gone through a dark phase, you know? What else can we, what else can we find out there? I didn't find much, but I thought, why not just imagine what other actors, favorite celebrities of mine, may have had a goth phase. And I found this photo of Stephen Root, character actor. You may know him from King of the Hill or True Blood or News Radio. He's been in a million things. And I'm going to draw him as a goth. I just want to show you the uglier sort of bits of my process. These are drawings that I don't normally show because they're really just me looking at a person's face and getting to know them. And I just make marks and I look and I make marks and I don't worry about proportion or likeness or whether it's good or not. It's not going to be good, you know. It's just, well, it's the practice. But it's all part of looking behind the curtain, which I'm very uh, much for. I was thinking about when I was like in my early 20s and I would listen to bands like KMFDM, Ministry, Skinny Puppy. And I guess when I was listening to this stuff and looking at the album art and everything, I would really kind of hold on to this idea that these are space monsters. They've been brought down from space to rock with all of their gothic sexual energy from space. Well, one time I was going through the CD art, you know, the jacket for a KMFDM album, and there's this picture of one of the band members, and he's hanging out, like, in his apartment on the sofa, and he's wearing a cable knit sweater. A, a cable knit sweater, seriously? Can you imagine my disappointment? You know, I just, that's not what space monsters wear. In retrospect, I think it was a good learning moment. Growing up and, and becoming a creator myself, as I created more and more art, I started to look up to heroes less. You know, I still love, you know, my favorite bands and creators and, and comedians. But the more you create yourself, the less godlike those people are, the less space monstery. The fact is, these people create this stuff that you look up to, and then they go and they make pancakes for their kids. But that's liberating because, because it means if your heroes are human and they take poops and they make pancakes, well, then it means that you can make this stuff. It's a level playing field now. You can make art and music, poetry, or even just, you know, crazy outfits that weird people out. And that's good. You're not hurting anybody. It's just art, you know. So I hope that that's empowering to you to, to think about. I think Stephen Root looks pretty good as a goth. Until next time, this has been Let's Draw Goth.